Um, so good morning, honorable judges, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Kenny and Miss Hopkins. Today we proudly present the Agile pilot program at the EcoMace. So here is our agenda of today. So Hopkins, what do you think is EcoMace? I think EcoMace is a community to try to uh, communicate, to try to communicate and try to enhance and educating our next generation what is sustainability, and it is also a. Uh, 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 try to improve the health of our residents and as well as try to encourage the, for all the land developers to think of the free bottom line principle for, the, uh, for, for land development. As well as the most importantly is to encourage them to try to conserve the local values for them. Mm, really true. So here is our overview of EcoMace. So we can see we have divided our um, EcoMace into four segments including the main building, garden with the cop house, the maze and also the eco hill. We have achieved an 80% of greenery area covered because we have the main building rooftop is also covered with vegetation and we have also achieved a 53% of uh, public greenery area. So now let's take a look at the market analysis of our eco maze. So for, we can see that EcoMace is located at a very beneficial area. First, it has very abundant natural resources. From the first one, you can see we have the Wuhuai Mountain and as well as the Changjiang Westover. We can see for uh, all the residents in EcoMace can enjoy a very abundant natural resources for them. And second, we can also find that it is very con there is a very convenient transportation spot and we have the Zhongshan Baoan International Airport. Once for the, in the future, when the Shenzhong Bridge is established and launched, residents can go to the airport in a very short time. In addition, the, there is a new second airport in Changsha is under proposed. So um, for those residents who would like to take the ferry to, to, to other locations, they can just go to the Zhongshan Ferry Terminal in a very short time. So let's take a look at the market analysis in the Zhongshan city. It is expected that the local population will score up to 3.24 million of people. And according to some of the research, it's found that the property price to, uh, is just maybe 3.3 three time, three times to their annual income of Zhongshan local citizens. Therefore, we can see that uh, the affordability for Zhongshan people to own a flat is fairly uh, available for them. And we have, now let's take a look at the relative property price in our development zone. Is according there is two kind of um, properties is in the t development zone, and the, the prices is ranges from six thousand dollar to around eight hundred uh, eight thousand dollars per meter square in Birmingham. So what are we targeting for? I think mainly we're targeting tech and the Zhongshan local families in the medium to uh, high income, and we also welcome citizens from other Chinese cities to join our. Um, project and we want our project to be in a um, in a way that we are not targeting at the retirement or uh, recreational uh, uh, reasons because we want them to develop their new life in our project. So for a unique selling point of our e-commerce is trying the first one is to try to embrace and educate our next generation and the second point is that we are trying to direct and add and guide our older residents to engage in a more eco lifestyle and the first is the most importantly is to try to minimize all the distinction between social class regardless their income level. So now let's take a look at the elements of our eco maze. So Kenny, I found that our eco maze is a, only a single building instead of separating the houses and, and apartments in building for a traditional way. So what is the purpose for doing so? I think for incorporating all the elements into one building is because we want to preserve the Chinese traditional belief of harmony and also we want to have less social class conflicts because we don't want to divide our citizens according to their income. And we can also, for underground development, and we, it provides us to try to explore more space as well. Very true. So now let's, let's take a look at the external design of our main building. And it's, uh, we design our, our main building in an oval shaped design. It is a barrier to try to trap the wind and distribute it to every, uh, rest, to every apartment in the main building so it can enhance for the wind distributions. And also for the three step expand layer, we want to give our residents an equity of natural environment uh, um, despite of the apartment's location. And also, inspired by the Gardens by the Bay in Singapore, we would like to have a sky towel inside our main building to encourage people to use more stairs. 
So now let's take a look at the internal design of our main building. For the first one, uh, we implement the double glass wind entry system. So for those uh, residents, in usually in during bad weather, they are forced to close their ordinary window, and they they are mainly rely on the air conditioning system. So this is a kind of a not very environmental friendly act. So therefore, we implement this system. Through the system, we can control the indoor ventilation in a more natural way because whenever the wind is coming from the outside, they can pass through the uh, the gaps to the edges of the window and then direct the wind into the in, into the indoor environment. Through the adjustable angle, uh, all the residents can just easily adjust the amount of wind from outside to the indoor environment easily. And as nowadays, people usually um, use their food scrap um, in a large scale of collecting them. Therefore, it costs quite a number of uh, bad sense that discourage people to do so. Therefore, we now install a very small food scrap processor in every apartment so to um, encourage people to do such meaningful activities. So now let's take a look at the underground development of our main building. Uh, it consists of many four layers. For the first two layers is our mall, and the, and the third layer is the circular map lab, and the fourth layer is the car park. So let's take a look at our first two layer. For our mall, we will try to convert all the CO2 into electrical energy by using the technology of electrolysis and water technologies. And the second one is that we will try to establish uh, abundant amounts of glass at the roof to try to direct all the sunlight into the into the ball, so it, this can encourage people to use less uh, light in the ball. For a circular map lab, because we found that uh, this kind of the map lab railway is cause no pollution, no noise, and even no energy waste. Therefore, we, we select this as our railway system. And we are trying to connect uh, other agile properties in our development zone with, uh, to connect to the Guangzhou Intercity Railway because this can enhance the mobility and enhance, even share the facility from different agile properties so the, the, the usage range of different kind of facility could be enhanced. So uh, we found that our, pros, our construction will cause a lot of natural construction waste. So what are we going to tackle with? I think for the natural construction waste, we are going to use this waste as our eco hill, and the use of tap waters from other um, properties will be used to generate hydroelectrical power. And also, this maze is built because we have been inspired by the Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, and it is a place for relaxation and also an education center for people, uh, for families and children for fun. And it is no doubt that we are also going to have bicycles in our um, uh, property, and we don't want to waste the efforts that our citizens are using um, of cycling. Therefore, we try to co um, convert all the kinetic energy by cycling into electrical energy, and all the electricity will be collected once the bicycle is um, back to the station. And for the underground water drainage system, we're going to store rainwaters underground and to have water pipes um, underground too, and to connect different locations so to use the water wisely. So Hopkins, it seems like we have lots of renewable energy, so how can we use them efficiently? If we use, try to use the renewable energy in a more efficient way, so I have designed an energy secret system. For the secret, it stands for collecting, controlling, and checking. So we, we can see on the gray uh, rectangle, we can see we have many renewable energy like the solar panel on the main building and the hydroelectric power from the Eco Hill. And as well as you have mentioned, the Eco Bicycle Power Collection System. And together with this renew renewable energy and the traditional power station, they pass through the energy secure system. Then they can uh, try to gather all the energy and then distribute those kind of energy back to different kinds of facilities based on their usage. And the second main function for this energy secure system is to try to, um, to monitor the usage of each facilities and try to develop an energy efficiency plan based on different kind of energy. For example, if some of the facilities have a very high electricity consumption rate, we will try to uh, make a very uh, energy efficient plan for further sustainability, sustainability development. So for a clubhouse and gardening, we will mainly for education and 
and for the medical use because we will cooperate with the school nearby to try to encourage the, our students, our next generation, the concept of organic farming as well. And also, as our citizens can um, have their self-gardening in our garden, um, excess harvest from them can be used to exchange eco-points. And such eco-points can be used to exchange transportation, clubhouse, and hotel facilities. So now let's take a look at the environmental impact of our, uh, our eco-maze. For the first one is the C-cube system. Actually, we can use a, a three-level hierarchy of saving to describe our, our say for our on our C-cube system. For the very the low level, we can see the design saving because we have different kind kinds of renewable energy system. So it is uh, mainly focused on the design how to improve the energy efficiency. For a second la layer is about the control saving because we have, our system is trying to gather all energy and then distribute back. Therefore, it is a kind of controlling the amount of electricity distributions. So for the highest level is the management saving because we have to monitor and try to manage the electricity supply and develop a further plan. Therefore, it is a very good use in management our energy consumptions. So. So sorry, uh, we can use the free R, the reduce, reuse, and recycle to evaluate different kinds of our our system and different kind of uh, facilities in our in energy efficiency. For example, we can find our eco hill have the best performance in reduction and reuse of our natural resources. And also, as we have acknowledged that the nearby railway has caused some noise pollution to the. Uh, environment. So we're going to build a natural green belt as a barrier and it helps to reduce around 21 decibel over the open distance of 100 feet. So for a greenery area, because we know that uh, our, through our oval shape, we can enhance our uh, equality of scenery. So every residence can enjoy the same amount of, uh, of our same green scenery through the round shape. And also for this carbon audit, we're going to find out all the direct and indirect emission of carbon sources and we'll go through the carbon audit um, measurements. And it seems like our um, development has caused a certain level of destruction to the environment. So what are we going to do, Hawkins? So I think I can, we can implement an ecological compensation or a called green compensation because uh, we are proposing to build these kind of plants in our eco maze because we found that these kind of plants is only found in Zhongshan and this seems rare in other places. Therefore, this, these plants have a very high ecological values and it can also be an ecological compensation to our destructions to our environment as well. So we also acknowledge that during our construction process, there may be some of the noise and dust causing harming our next, our next neighborhood, the new legend phase one. Therefore, we are trying to build a green construction wall to try to minimize all the harm to our, our residents as well. And here comes our revenue model. Uh, we have divided our incomes into a long-term and short-term basis. And for the long-term basis, um, our main income will be from the shopping mall rental fees and continued by the hotel property and also the circular magnets. And here are some of the numbers we have calculated. And for the short-term incomes, which is the most urgent income that we need, is the sales price, uh, sales of apartments that we approximately calculate that, that there will be a 700 million to 800 million of renminbi. And we hoped to break even during the occupation period. So may I use a three bottom line con principles to conclude our eco maze? Uh, because a uh, three bottom line con uh, principle is consideration of economical, social, and environmental sustainability. For the economical sustainability, we hope through our eco maze can try to uh, generate a long term benefit and charging our residents at a very reasonable price for all the facilities. Because uh, for the long term benefit, we will make use of the part most of the benefit for the income earned will be used for the generating the long term uh, uh, for, for the development of environment and for further environmental development and so this is for economical sustainability and for the social sustainability we hope that uh, through and maintaining a social sustainability to try to encourage our citizens what is the true value of sustainability that is the consideration of our next generation therefore we hope that through our through our economists can encourage them this concept. And for the last is the environmental sustainability. We try to minimize all the harm done to our environment and as well try to 
try to did an ecological compensation to compensate what we have done, what we have constructed and consumed to the environment and try to compensate to our environment. This is the true value of uh, free, uh, free bottom line sustainability. At last, we will use our core value to, to of eco -mix is that embrace our nature and... To embrace our nature and enlighten our eco future. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I think because our, our one single house uh, is our one single complex is because we have different kinds of buildings uh, charging at different different prices because maybe the interior side may be uh, charging at a relatively lower price. So maybe it's just say ranging from the $6,000 per meter square and the uh, exterior looking at the outside view can, can charge at a relatively higher price. So different affordability people, they can they can live at the, at at the same building as well. Just like different level may also charge at a very different price. So it can also afford people. So, but for our main concept is that we are trying to convey a message that uh, the importance of harmony because we are hoping in a in traditional way because people are separating from the uh, for those who are living in houses it means that they are very rich but for those living in apartments they are less less wealthy. So I think I hope through this e commerce can try to twist their mind to uh, to a more uh, better concept. So hope I my explanation can can clearly understand. Okay, thank you. Back to the We found uh, we have done a research on the electrical matter, and we found that because uh, there is no uh, energy waste, because uh, the energy waste is relatively lower for compared with other wear rate. Because uh, the wear rate, the using the magnet system, the energy wastage because there is less resistance, so the energy wastage will be relatively lower, and this can encourage people to use because. I think this kind of railway system is a more uh, beneficial rather than taking the private vehicle, private automobile, because this kind of system can encourage more people to use. And one of our major characteristics is only a circular line instead of a two-way railway. Because we think that two-way, because I actually the usage rate, this can be improved if using a circular method. So, thank you. I had a question about the, uh, the, the plants and trees that you were saying. It's part of the biodiversity, why they have trees and plants with a higher value. So are you suggesting that part of the revenue stream from this property is that you're, you're, using, uh, you're, you're using the property productively in terms of growing things that could be harvested at a high value? Maybe we are just focusing because uh, because these kind of plants are uh, under urban development because these kind of plants it seems rare in Zhongshan. So we are trying to conserve it and for a revenue because we are not aiming at... Um, because actually it's a different part for the um, planting of Zhongshan um, rare plants is actually for ecological compensation and for the gardening part is actually for um, the citizens to engage in the organic farming and as an exchange of eco points so that they can at the same time enjoy the fun of organic farming and at the same time motivate them to engage in the activity through the eco point um, as the eco points can be used as transportation and also uh, facilities in our eco maze yes so it's actually different Thank you, Ecomaze. 
So may I now invite the last group?